In a dramatic turn of events that would make even Shakespeare's most theatrical characters blush, the ongoing legal saga between Meghan Markle and her half-sister Samantha has taken an entertainingly sardonic twist. Attorney Peter Tickton, representing Samantha Markle in her $75,000 defamation lawsuit against the former royal, has apparently decided to add a dash of comedy to the courtroom drama by dubbing Meghan and Harry the Duke and Duchess of Wales. The clever wordplay, a not-so-subtle jab at the couple's perceived tendency to air their grievances publicly, has sent ripples through both legal circles and royal watchers alike. The nickname seems particularly fitting given the couple's string of high-profile interviews, documentaries and Harry's tell-all memoir Spare, where they've repeatedly detailed their struggles with royal life. Samantha Markle's lawsuit, filed in Florida, stems from claims made during Meghan and Harry's infamous Oprah Winfrey interview and statements in the controversial biography Finding Freedom. The elder Markle alleges that her half-sister spread malicious lies about her childhood and their relationship, painting herself as a rags-to-riches story while allegedly diminishing their family connections. Tickton's theatrical approach to the case seems to mirror the very public nature of the Markle family drama. When you have someone who's made a career out of playing victim while living in a $14 million mansion, what else can you call them but the Duke and Duchess of Wales? Tickton reportedly quipped during a recent court proceeding, the lawyer's wordplay has struck a chord with critics of the Sussexes, who have long accused the couple of maintaining a paradoxical stance, demanding privacy while seemingly seeking the spotlight. The irony isn't lost on royal observers, who note that Meghan and Harry's departure from royal duties, supposedly to escape public scrutiny, has resulted in even more media attention. The case has brought to light numerous contradictions in Meghan's public statements. While she claimed to Oprah that she grew up as an only child, Samantha's legal team has presented evidence of shared family experiences and photographs that suggest a different narrative. Tickton has been methodically dismantling what he calls the carefully crafted persona of the Duchess. It's rather interesting, one royal commentator noted, that someone who claims to champion authenticity and truth-telling seems to have such a flexible relationship with her own history. Perhaps the Duchess of Wales moniker isn't just clever wordplay, it's a commentary on the disconnect between reality and representation. The lawsuit has become a fascinating study in celebrity, truth, and family dynamics. Samantha Markle's legal team argues that Meghan's rags-to-riches narrative required the fabrication of a lonely, struggling childhood that never existed. They contend that this manufactured story came at the expense of family members who were effectively erased or villainized to maintain the fairy tale image. As the case proceeds, Tickton's theatrical approach has added an unexpected layer of levity to what is, at its core, a serious family dispute. His Duchess of Wales commentary has become a social media sensation, with supporters of Samantha Markle adopting the phrase as a hashtag and creating memes that have gone viral. The legal proceedings have also shed light on the broader implications of celebrity narrative crafting in the age of social media and global publicity. The Sussexes, who have made media deals worth millions while criticizing the press, find themselves in the uncomfortable position of having their carefully constructed narrative challenged in a court of law. What we're seeing here, explains a media analyst, is the collision of Hollywood-style image management with legal scrutiny. The Duchess of Wales nickname is catching on because it encapsulates what many see as the fundamental contradiction in the Sussex brand, the professional victims who are also professional celebrities. The case has particular resonance given the Sussex's previous legal victories against various media outlets. Now facing allegations from within the family, the dynamic has shifted. Rather than targeting tabloids, they're defending against claims from someone who claims to know the unvarnished truth behind the polished public image. Tickton's approach seems calculated to pierce the celebrity bubble surrounding the Sussexes. By introducing humor into the proceedings, he's arguably making the case more accessible to the public, while simultaneously undermining the gravitas that Meghan and Harry have tried to maintain in their public personas. The irony of the situation isn't lost on royal watchers. A couple who left the British monarchy to escape what they perceived as unfair treatment now finds themselves embroiled in a legal battle that's generating exactly the kind of publicity they claim to be avoiding. The libel case, brought by Samantha Markle against her half-sister, has been a roller coaster of revelations and accusations. Samantha alleges that Meghan's statements in her Oprah Winfrey interview and other public appearances have painted her in a false and negative light. The courtroom has become a battleground, where the Markle family's dirty laundry is being aired for all to see. Peter Tickton, known for his sharp wit and no-holds-barred approach, has been a formidable opponent for Meghan's legal team. His latest jab, referring to Meghan and Harry as the Duke and Duchess of Wales, 
is a clever play on words that highlights the couple's perceived tendency to complain and play the victim card. The joke has resonated with many who see the Sussexes as perpetual whiners, always finding something to complain about despite their privileged status. The courtroom drama has been a mix of serious legal arguments and moments of levity, thanks to Ticton's biting humor. His jokes have not only entertained the gallery, but have also served to underscore the seriousness of the allegations against Meghan. The Duchess of Sussex, known for her poise and elegance, has found herself on the defensive, struggling to maintain her composure in the face of Ticton's relentless attacks. One of the most contentious issues in the case is Meghan's claim that she grew up as an only child and had a strained relationship with her half-siblings. Samantha Markle has vehemently disputed this, presenting evidence that she and Meghan were close during their childhood. Ticktin has used this discrepancy to paint Meghan as a liar, someone who will twist the truth to suit her narrative. Meghan Markle has a habit of rewriting history to fit her story, Ticktin argued in court. She claims to have grown up as an only child, yet there are countless photos and memories that prove otherwise. It's a classic case of revisionist history, and it's not just Samantha who is being hurt by these lies, it's the truth itself. The courtroom has also heard testimony from various witnesses, including friends and family members, who have known the Markles for years. Their accounts have painted a complex picture of a family torn apart by fame and fortune. Meghan's rise to royalty has been a double-edged sword, bringing her global attention but also scrutiny and criticism. One witness, a childhood friend of Meghan's, recalled how the future Duchess was always ambitious and driven. Meghan always wanted to be famous, the friend testified. She had a plan, and she stuck to it, but in the process, she left a lot of people behind, including her family. Ticktin has seized on this testimony to argue that Meghan's ambition has come at a cost. Meghan Markle's rise to fame has been meteoric, but it has also been ruthless, he said. She has stepped on a lot of toes and burned a lot of bridges. Samantha is just one of the many casualties of Meghan's relentless pursuit of stardom. The case has also shed light on the dynamics within the Markle family. Samantha has spoken openly about her struggles with multiple sclerosis and her financial difficulties. She has accused Meghan of turning her back on her family in their time of need, choosing instead to focus on her own career and public image. Meghan has always been about Meghan, Samantha said in a tearful testimony. She has never cared about anyone else, not even her own family. It's heartbreaking to see how she has treated us, especially after all the support we gave her over the years. Ticktin has used Samantha's testimony to drive home the point that Meghan's actions have had real consequences for her family. Meghan Markle's behavior has not just been selfish, it's been cruel, he argued. She has turned her back on her family, leaving them to fend for themselves while she basks in the limelight. It's a sad commentary on the price of fame. The courtroom has also heard from experts in psychology and family dynamics, who have offered their insights into the Markle family's struggles. One expert, a renowned psychologist, testified that Meghan's behavior fits the profile of a narcissist, someone who is self-centered and lacks empathy for others. Narcissists often have a grandiose sense of self-importance and a need for admiration, the psychologist explained. They can be charming and charismatic, but they also have a dark side. They can be manipulative, exploitative, and lacking in empathy. Meghan Markle's behavior fits this profile to a T. Ticktin has used this expert testimony to bolster his case against Meghan. Meghan Markle is not just a liar, she's a narcissist, he argued.